uh, yeah, can we get a mic stand in here that I don't have to hold? One that isn't going to fall on the piano and scratch it? Hey, great. Thank you. You know, when I worked at uh, Steinway um, selling these amazingly beautiful and expensive handmade pianos, um, one of the things that we learned about is uh, body language, you know, and, and when someone is in love with a product, you just, <laughs> it radiates, you see it in their body language, everything. And uh, I feel like that's coming out huh, now with this product. Well, hi there, it's me, Penny. Welcome back to my practice room. You know, I've been trying to improve the setup here in my modest home studio. It's a very small room. It's, it's my dining table and a 5'10 grand piano and a big bookshelf. <laughs> and that's it. And once I get my ring light and all the tripods and now this latest microphone, it doesn't leave me with a whole lot of room. So I have this microphone, but as I say uh, in the opening, you know, uh, I can't be holding it with one hand. So that prompted me to investigate different kinds of microphone stands. And I'm a classical pianist. When I think about my education uh, at conservatories in New York, what equipment was in the, the classrooms there? Uh, a wooden chair and a piano. That's it, you know. So here, here we are in 2022 trying to make a career for ourselves uh, with skills that we don't have and we're trying to learn on the fly. This is very difficult to do, but uh, I'm enjoying this process and hope that I, I can keep in improving things here. I have been looking for a microphone stand because I now have this uh, USB condenser microphone and it's just on this little tripod <laughs> uh, propped up on, s uh, on some books of course, a Bach biography. And uh, this, uh, this gets decent sound so long as I am very close to the microphone. <laughs> my mom calls this my Larry King microphone. <laughs> so anyhow, I investigated mic stands, uh, boom stands. And those are those uh, diagonal metal rods on a thick, sturdy tripod. And I had one of those years ago, but it was a cheap one and the threads were not very, they didn't grip very tightly, so the thing would sag a lot. And uh, so I got rid of that. And uh, I was investigating the different sizes of boom stands and um, price ranges too, because, you know, I don't have, can't spend an arm and a leg these days on anything. And uh, the more I thought about it, it occurred to me that a mic stand, a boom stand, would just take up far more room than I can allow. I'll show you some footage here of what I'm looking at right now. You can see, literally in front of me, I got my microphone, uh, the ring light, um, <laughs> the piano, the dining room table, the computer, uh, some books, the wall, you know, this is what we're working with here. So it's been a bit of a challenge to find an appropriate setup. And the more I thought about getting a boom stand, the more it occurred to me that not only would I be making this space more crowded, but I would also be running the risk of the boom arm itself bumping into the piano and scratching it. And the last thing I want is for uh, this mic, which is very heavy, to fall on the piano and, and leave a terrible scratch or to break a key. Um, it, that would just be traumatic. <laughs> we don't want that. And so then I thought, well, maybe I could get uh, some kind of a, like those desk lamps, architect lamps with the, the, the arm that bends nicely. Um, but the thing with those, you have to watch um, with, with some of the, some of the brands. Um, there's those two metal rods and, and when you're going to adjust it, you could get your finger caught in there. And I've done that before. That's painful. Uh, and also, I didn't want to have the arm of the mic stand in front of my face. Uh, I, I want to be able to look at you and, and see you. <laughs> so it was a bit of a uh, pulling my hair out kind of a past week or so, but I came across a product and I haven't opened it yet. It just came yesterday. I ordered it uh, on Amazon actually. Um, and it's the, I wrote it down here. <laughs> it's the Elgato Wave mic arm. It's a low profile mic stand. 
low profile. <laughs> this is what we want. And I checked out some tutorials or some reviews on this product. And what a sleek looking product it is. And uh, it clamps onto a desk and is very movable and uh, very low profile. Um, I also sit fairly low at the piano, so <laughs> that works for me. But, uh, you know, you want, you want your room to look nice. And the last thing I want, uh, apart from scratches on the piano, uh, is some big ugly metal rod coming at me. You know, we don't want that. But I also want decent sound. Um, we are trying to grow this channel, and uh, there are investments to be made, certainly, and much to be learned. Um, I know this ring light was a really great investment, but uh, this this mic stand uh, is the latest investment, and I have to thank my parents again because they gave me some money <laughs> to buy this. That was awfully nice of them. They're wonderful supporters of me. <laughs> um, so I got my little jackknife here, and we're just going to get in uh, to this, this product and see what we got. Um, because I, I, I've been watching various piano teacher teachers doing, or pianists, doing their thing online, and some of them have an overhead mic, some of them have a, a boom stand, and uh, I've not seen any piano um, people with the Elgato wave mic. <laughs> so uh, here's hoping we're, we're, we're setting a trend. Um, assuming it serves the needs. So here it is inside the box. We're going to read this manual, of course. There's not much to it. So the maximum load for this microphone is 4.4 pounds. That's 2 kilograms. I think that'll be just fine for this microphone. And I'm going to clamp it. I'll show you some footage right now. This is where I'm going to clamp it on the edge of that little baker's rack. Okay, so out of the box, there's very, very few parts. This is, this is good. <laughs> and it's feeling quite sturdy and stable. It's, it's all metal, and we've got the clamp for the desk, uh, solid. Very, it's quite heavy. It's almost as heavier than the microphone. Um, this looks good. All right, so I'm just going to show you the close-up of the clamp itself. It's really heavy and uh, turns very nicely. The screw seems pretty, it all seems extremely sturdy. And there's some rubber uh, on both sides of this so it won't scratch your desk. The stand will just go in there. Um, and I think there's a little ratchet. Yeah, this button here. So in case you're up next to the wall and you don't have room to turn this around, you can just push the button. So that's the that's the clamp. So the clamp the clamp went on there very easily. I was a little concerned because this is not a proper desk with all these spaces between the bars, but I found uh, this one here and then the, the, the two of them on the side there. So the base is here and uh, screwed in easily. It's very, very stable there and the rubber uh, on either side to protect it. And I got the screw tight, tight as I can. Give it another little mm there. And so far so good. That's the part I was worried about. And we have this, this is the low profile arm. Elgato low profile. And this is very heavy. This is going to go in that hole on the clamp that I showed you. Uh, the whole length of this thing, when it's stretched out like that, uh, they say it's 29.1 inches. And uh, this seems pretty simple. My mic will go in here with one of the adapters. And we'll unscrew one of these a little bit um, because this upper rod here will lift, the lower one will stay fixed, uh, and there are these little pull-out lids with a magnetic cover there, and you can run your, your cables in there. So I like that this is going to be aesthetically pleasing. And another nice feature is that it's a 360 degree 
swivel the top one and also the bottom one. So complete, th complete 360 swivel. And now I'm going to secure the arm into the base. Oh, that went in nicely. And there we have it. So I can tuck this out of my way. And then we're going to raise this. And here you can see it's really super easy to run your cable through the little uh, compartment here. It's my USB cable. Um, USB old-fashioned <laughs> on one end and the, uh, the mic. This end goes into the mic. You know, <laughs> I, I really do not have skill in this department so I appreciate that this is very easy to assemble. There's little magnets in here and down at the back. So we're gonna just what was that moving company in Manhattan? Tuck it away. <laughs> just gonna tuck it away. That's great. Oh, I love this. And I realize this is, this is a terrible uh, camera angle. We'll get a better shot in the end. But just so you can see up close, I haven't attached the microphone yet, but this swivels quite easily. And you can loosen it uh, even more by turning this, the knob, if you want so that you just basically touch it and, 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 it, uh, and it repositions. Or you can tighten it so that it's uh, more uh, fixed. And, uh, and this is, there's a little swivel here. This, this is on a, a ball, so this can go down, right, like that. But I, want, I think I'm going to want mine up. And uh, this is great because, as I say, I'm so short on space here. And my whole issue was try, to try to find something that I could leave permanently set up, but that wouldn't be in the way. And look at this. When I'm not teaching or making a video, I tuck it away. <laughs> I love this. I love this. And uh, this, this goes down too. Isn't that nice? This is a wonderful product and it's so sturdy. Uh, I did hear that these metal bars on top, uh, depending on how much you move your cables around, uh, can sort of pop off and be a bit of a nuisance. But um, I'm not going to be. This is, these, this is the only cable that will be running through here. So, uh, Mr. B, do you approve? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That is good. And also, we've got the adapters here. So I didn't need this little screw, um, but I'll keep it handy. <laughs> no. um, but these adapters, it turns out that this is the one I'm going to need. It's the larger of the two. And uh, both of these, on the one end, the small end of each of these is, I guess, one quarter inch. So that's one quarter. Oh, and I guess that's one quarter. And then the, the other side, five eighths of an inch. And is it three eighths of an inch? Or maybe it's that end. Anyway, I'm using the five eighths of an inch to one quarter inch adapter. And that is going to screw in to my microphone. And then the other end will go into the low profile mic arm. Okay, so that's the one I don't need. And I've got my mic here. It's in, it's in the shock mount, this thing with the elastics on it. And this is where we're looking to do some screw in here. So we're just gonna screw that, screw that in like so. Might need a coin or something to get that loose if we ever wanna remove this and put it on a different mic stand. This is going to work. I'm so excited. Um, this outlet, uh, this adapter thing, didn't seem to be uh, too common in in, uh, in my search for how to get this shock mount onto a tripod. So that's great that they uh, supply both of the adapters. I'm just about to set up the uh, the microphone, but I'm I'm screwing in the the shock mount. Of course, it's best to take the microphone out, <laughs> otherwise it's a little hard to screw it in, but 
but this is working and I'm going to stick in my mic into the shock mount Whoop. okay so we're gonna have to tighten that clearly there we go it says do not over tighten oh I didn't tighten this all the way there we don't want that wobbling around and then maybe I'll just like raise this a little bit we are learning here I don't want to get that out of the way because I'm going to play and then I can raise this I don't want to screw it too tightly and then oh <laughs> plug it in plug it in this plugs into the mic and then I've got my USB oh boy oh I'm so excited yay okay well we'll see you in a moment with the proper setup <laughs> so I've got my Elgato low profile boom mic stand all set up and I am absolutely thrilled <laughs> this is terrific this is exactly what I was looking for and then some and I think the the and then some part has to do with this cable management system. I had never thought of that. I'm a piano player. I think about pedaling and wrist rotation and all this stuff. I don't think about cable management. <laughs> but this is just wonderful. And I am not some technical, you know, person who puts up tutorials on uh, reviews, products, and all this. So this is the setup that I'm going to use. And it's going to stay like this. We're not going to be changing out cables all the time and microphones. Um, <laughs> this is what we got. We're going to leave it like this. But I just want to show you uh, how terrific this is. It's close to my... The mic is now close to my face. I don't have to hold it. I don't have to lean into a table. And, uh, and it's not blocking my face. Um, it's not coming overhead and you know dangling in the camera <laughs> and uh, I've got my my MacBook here so uh, when I'm teaching I can see that and I can still use the table for my books and everything this is because before the mic stand the little tripod was taking up precious space and then when I'm done I just tuck it away <laughs> Or this way I know I'll have to figure it out but this is just so incredible this is a word to any piano teachers out there who are still teaching online or thinking about maybe making some videos and presentations this is a terrific product this was super easy to assemble and it's metal it's solid uh, I, I love it <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to do this on my own time. I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. But to show you right now, if I want to lower this uh, arm some more, I can go all the way to about down here. And I can raise it all the way up to about here. And of course, everything swivels. My lamp here is in, kind of in the way. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it right about here. This looks good. This is truly a significant step up in my little home studio here. And I highly recommend if you're thinking of, of, of something for your own uh, studio. I think when I'm teaching, um, because I don't use the phone camera, I have a webcam, so I'll probably lower this, otherwise the mic will be blocking my face. Um, but for videos for my channel here, I will leave this mic approximately where it is and uh, then I can have my other microphone, my stereo mic, uh, set up on the ironing board inside the piano where, where it should be. You know, I am, I am no recording engineer. I'm just learning little bits and pieces here and there and <laughs> harvesting these little <laughs> grains of wisdom into my little burrow and trying to make something with them. That means I will getting used to uh, separating the audio track from this mic versus the one from the other track so that when I'm uh, talking at the piano I can perhaps um, mute the other mic <laughs> and vice versa. We are learning. <laughs>
And so now that I have my microphone set up with my new Elgato low profile mic stand, I'm going to sign off and see you again soon for some more performances of Bach's music, practice, teaching tips, and any other little tidbits I get up to. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay well. We'll see you again soon. And happy practicing. Bye-bye. <laughs>